Milan Madrim. The topic of our discussion today is endotracheal intubation or ETD insertion in case of adults. What is ETD? An endotracheal tube or ETD is a specific type of tracheal tube that is inserted through the mouth when it is called orotracheal or nose when it is called nasotracheal for the purpose of establishing and maintaining a patent airway. Before explaining the steps of ETD insertion, let us briefly explain the anatomy of the throat. The inside on the left depicts a view looking down the throat as one might see it during endotracheal intubation. On the front there is epiglottis and on the side there are two vocal cords bilaterally. Behind trachea, a view of esophagus can be seen clearly. Now we will talk about the procedure of EDD insertion. First of all, make sure that the equipment is ready and the laryngoscope light is working properly. Also ensure that the cuff on laryngoscope should inflate and deflate properly. Before passing ETD, it's important to pre-oxygenate the patient. So give 100% oxygen for at least 3 minutes. Get an appropriate size Macintosh laryngoscope. A very important step is to assemble the blade and handle of laryngoscope by using proper technique which you can see here. Get an appropriate size endotracheal tube. It's very important to know about the parts of endotracheal tube. The different parts include first of all bevel, Murphy eye, the cuff, radio back line, length markings, the connector of 15 mm, the pilot line, pilot balloon and one way wall. Prior to the insertion of laryngoscope, the head of the patient is extended slightly at the cervical spine level. So for that, push the chin upward and reduce the angle between the oropharynx and the upper airway. Advance the laryngoscope slightly until the tip of the epiglottis can be seen posterior to the tongue. Advance the tip of laryngoscope blade into valiculi between epiglottis and the tongue. Press the laryngoscope blade to lift up the tongue. The tip of the blade of the laryngoscope should reach the hypoepiglottic ligament at the base of epiglottis to display the vocal cords and the laryngeal opening. With the right hand, insert the endotracheal tube from the right hand side of the mouth directly between the cords and into the trachea until the cuff passes through the cord. Next important step is the positioning of the tube. The markings on the tube will show between 20 to 21 cm in case of adult female and between 22 and 23 cm in case of average sized adult male when the tube is in position. Once the insertion of ETT is complete, the laryngoscope is now withdrawn. Now it's time to inflate the cuff of ETT to create a seal and to minimize the possibility of it being withdrawn. That is what we call it a protected airway. A patient is now ready for ventilation either by an embo bag or by a ventilator machine. Once the ventilation has begun, auscultate the lungs to ensure airflow and to eliminate the possibility of an esophageal intubation. So it's very important to auscultate the chest. In other words, for confirmation of the position of EDT, five areas on the chest are auscultated to confirm the correct position of EDT. This is called five-point auscultation. Now we will talk about the algorithm of maternal resuscitation. In maternal resuscitation, we will continue BLS, ACLS, high quality CPR, defibrillation when indicated and other ACLS intervention, for example, epinephrine. Then we assemble the maternal cardiac arrest team. Consider etiology of the arrest. Perform maternal interventions, perform airway management, administer 100% oxygen, avoid excessive ventilation, place IV above diaphragm. If receiving IV magnesium, stop and give calcium gluconate or calcium chloride. 
Continue BLS ACLS high quality CPR defibrillation when indicated other ACLS intervention, for example, epinephrine. Perform obstetric intervention. Provide continuous lateral uterine displacement. Detach fetal monitors. Prepare for perimortem cesarean delivery. Perform perimortem cesarean delivery if no return of spontaneous circulation in 5 minutes. In that case, consider immediate perimortem cesarean suction and neonatal team to receive the neonate. So thank you so much that was all about endotracheal intubation in case of adults and maternal resuscitation algorithm. Subscribe on Obstant Gynae. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.